Hi, I'm Rich Mady. I'm a professor of nanoscience in the College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering. This is a high-resolution x-ray diffractometer. Now, it just so turns out that the sizes of nanoscale structures are right around the sizes of, or the wavelengths, of x-rays. And so it's a very efficient tool we're looking at very thin nanometer scale structures. You think about a uh, street light on a foggy night, uh, the denser the fog, the uh, brighter the glow around the light, and the smaller the water droplets in the air, the further out the scattering goes. Well, x-rays work the same way with materials. It turns out that as we scatter x-rays off the material, we can infer information about what the structure of the material is, and that's very important in manufacturing these days. X-ray tools used to be laboratory-based instruments, but over about the past decade, as the needs of manufacturing have changed, x-rays have moved onto the fabrication facility floor. Having said that, there are also a very important probe for looking at the, some of the basic properties of materials and structures, and so this is very much a basic research tool as well. So some days we're supporting manufacturing, some days involved in very fundamental research issues. That sort of mix of uh, industrial use and also basic research, basic science investigations is uh, pretty much the common way that we do things here in the college.